Tarragona, Spain. You probably do not forget that the Volvo station wagon nearly left the U.S. niche for good recently, eliciting an incredible outcry from professors, university students, auto journalists, as well as other stereotypical die-hard SUV resistors who help support sales a variety of such cars inside low thousands. What we saved from almost certain extinction globally was the outgoing Volvo V60, a somewhat pudgy wagon that appeared to want to seem like a sort of crossover. Volvo wants one to know that its station wagon renaissance is here now, while using new 2019 Volvo V60 arriving at America no earlier, unfortunately, compared to first quarter of pickup. The new car joins its elegant larger, the V90 for the SPA scalable architecture, a new burr flexible platform where the only constant would be the rear wheel drive dash to axle proportions which make room with an extra crash zone, and inside the case in the V60 T8 model and to the future later, space for the plug-in hybrid electric motor involving the transverse 2.0 liter 4 along with the front cowl. Proportions in the 2019 Volvo V60 are improved all around. It's 4.9 inches longer, rides over a 2.8 inch longer wheelbase, and it is 2 inches lower overall, in a subcross over 56.4 inches. The sport utility within this wagon was in how it's simpler to enjoy such sports as bicycling, skiing, and kayaking, since you can attach bikes, skis, and kayaks a lot more easily on the roof racks a point that Bulik has produced with its 58.4 in Tal Regal Turx. Styling might be more youthful and technical compared to the more stately V90, says Jurgen Hose A, exterior senior manager. Yacht design inspired the V90, he states, which isn't true in the V60, in spite of the strong family resemblance. The 2019 Volvo V60 separates the connected back and front shoulder lines on the V90, which emphasize that car's length. The V60's daylight opening sweeps up a little more from the seated pillar as opposed to V90's. The glass in the new model also extends lower by 0.6 inch than from the bigger wagon. The tail lamps are thinner compared to the V90s along with the Thor's hammer headlamp design element runs over the center in the headlamp lens, but doesn't touch the grille frame. Volvo is specially proud of its standard driftwood dash trim, which can be bent both top to bottom to connect the two main outer vac vents and also the Census Connect Fordal infotainment screen. This renaissance of Swedish modern style builds upon a product aesthetic which is quickly becoming one of the most desirable design language inside premium luxury auto business, an anecdote for Offengerish German competitors that rule the segment. Boxy but good may also be handsome once the edges are curved along with the side surfacing is clean and expressive. You must select the V60 inscription to discover the standard driftwood inlays, but there's something very appealing in regards to the base V60 momentum, which comes standard with all the 250 horsepower turbocharged only 2.0 liter i4, front wheel drive and 17 inch wheels the T6 powered rain and AWD are optional. For no expense be able to eschew the normal leather seats inside momentum in support of what Volvo calls city weave cloth seats with plaid inserts. Volvo USA says it fought just for this option, perhaps from the same way it fought to hold the old V60 imports on the U.S. And at least, the base model doesn't seem like a stray trend fleet special. If you may maintain option sheet discipline whilst your V60 momentum sticker down inside the low dollar 40s, you'll pay tribute for the kinds of Volvos that hit it big inside US back within the 60s, 70s and 80s, gets hotter was a mid-priced, yet not a premium luxury European brand. The 21st century interpretation of Volvonis permeates the engineering along with the design. Volvo calls its new V60 a driver's car. This is hyperbole. The 2019 Volvo V60 drives the same manner you'd expect. 
Don't expect German sport sedan dynamics from an all-wheel drive version of an front-wheel drive car having the rear-wheel drive dash to axle proportion. Monsoon-like rain early from the morning blunted our first drive, which started at a lovely beach town within the Mediterranean coast outside Barcelona. After a late restart, we've been able to make the mountain s is about the other side of Barcelona, though the pavement used to be wet. A drier mountain run later inside the day was way too short and crowded with traffic to return close to exploring limits. Moderate understeer is fine for just a good segment family wagon, plus the superb steering comes with a light touch with excellent feel and feedback. Aggressively bolstered front seats help keep you in place nicely. There's moderate compliance, good grip, and decent fun that can be had if you don't mind the kids spilling using their juice boxes. The T6's 316 horsepower twin engine is quick enough to produce you into any gap within a straight line, though somehow the supercharger ta turbocharger handoff stumbles slightly in low speed turns. Shifting into your sport shift mode mitigates this significantly, still with many hesitation, and you'll probably start worrying by what this does to fuel efficiency. Powering Volvos of each size and weight without having more than a 2.0-liter engine does force compromise, in fact. Shifting yourself might help, too, but you'll use the gear shift should you not wait for the Volvo V60 redesign, that is the only trim level with paddle shifters. Similar to Audis, Mercedes-Benz's and BMW's, this Volvo is sold with driver select comfort in dynamic settings. This usually affects throttle response a lot more than chassis setting. Best to get into and drive and like the comfort, serenity and feng shui from the handsome surroundings. There's a Harman Kardon audio upgrade as well as a Bowers and Wilkins hi-fi option above that. There's the obligatory panoramic sunroof. Our Volvo V60 inscription featured navigation and alternative on some versions as Volvo witnesses that many drivers would prefer to use smartphone map apps as well as the trim level standard multimedia package, with all the Fortal 12.3-inch center display. This touchscreen works and also any premium luxury infotainment touchscreen, meaning it's also too dependent for the driver checking out the screen to switch what he she wants, even seat heaters coolers. This takes your vision off the road for days on end. Volvo recommends while using voice command. Volvo includes a hardware update just for this Census Connect system to improve slow startup on early versions. Infotainment speed is perfectly up to 50% quicker, though for many people my drive partner and me the navigation system often seemed to turn behind the periods, which left us generating a wrong switch on at least one occasion. This wouldn't be described as a proper Volvo first drive review without no less than mentioning the existence of any long list of top rated safety features and advanced driver assistance systems. The V60 comes that has a 360 degree camera view, operated by push button that changes in the rear view camera, city safety with automatic emergency braking including pedestrians, bicyclists and big animals. Oncoming traffic alert with stress and run off road mitigation. A blind spot information technique is optional. Our inscription also included pilot assist, a hands on view wheel system that Volvo says reduces stress by guiding drivers through curves. It can be annoyingly intrusive occasionally, a vent off it does come that has a defeat button. Otherwise, the brand new, 2019 Volvo V60 is usually a stress-free car with pilot assist powered down. It's a driver's car the longer and farther you drive it, although it's just about a sports wagon, it's not an SUV or a crossover, either though a V60cc is resulting. Tweed-jacketed fans of Volvo's past may very well find it essentially the most appealing new car in the price segment. 2019 Volvo V60 Inscription T6AWD Specifications 
early 2019. Price $47,000 estate. Engine 2.0 liters dock 16 valve turbocharged and supercharged i4316 hp at 5700 rpm 295 lbft at 2,2005 2, 400 revolutions per minute transmission 8 speed automatic layout 4 door 5 passenger front engine AWD wagon EPA mileage TBD LXWXH 187.4 by 72.8 by 56.2 inches wheelbase 113.1 in weight 4202 pounds 060 miles per hour, 5.5 seconds estate. Top speed 155 miles per hour estate.